solutions.com. My name is Sumit and here I'm with my new video in Oracle Marketing Cloud using Elokia. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate you that how can you import contacts from external files or external sources into Elokia. So mainly uh, we would be using Excel for this demonstration. We'll be upcoming with some new videos where we are where I would be going to demonstrate you that how can we import data from external data sources into Oracle Elocure. So let me show you my file. So this is my contact file, and that's how this file I have extracted from my Salesforce CRM solution. So in sale from Salesforce CRM solution, I have I have extracted this data from contact. And I did some massaging on the data. Couple of fields were missing. Couple of, uh, as you can see, there are some blank fields. So we need to fill up these information. So you can fill up this information with some default values, or you can uh, connect with your users and uh, capture details from them, gather, collect details from the, uh, collect details from them, and then up, up, uh, update this particular Excel file. So I have already uh, I have already completed this file, and as you can see, there is no missing values. Are there are there are no missing records. So let me do some data massaging also, and I'm just putting some dummy records. So now what I'm trying to do is uh, I'm trying to import these records into my Oracle Elocua, and for this for doing this is pretty simple. As you can see, I'm into my Oracle Elocua instance. So that's my, uh, let me show you my homepage first of all. So that's my Oracle Elocua, that's my marketing cloud. And in this marketing cloud, uh, this is a dashboard which is showing in front of me right now where I can see how many number of visitors, 18% new visitors, 20% contacted web activities. There are no campaigns, we have, uh, no schedules we have done. So I would like to import the contacts from Excel file into my marketing cloud, my Oracle marketing cloud. So you can see I'll visit to contact, I click on contacts, click on upload, and here we can assign a name if it is required. So that's the first step where we need to pick our data source and import data source. So I, either we can use a tab file, pipe or semicolon, or I'm using Excel file. Now, what's the purpose of performing this operation? Whether we want to add or update contacts to database, we want to change email address, we want to perform some updations or delete exist, delete contacts. So here the requirement is we would like to add new contacts and if the contacts already exist, it will simply update them. So therefore we don't have duplicate records. So I'll just select uh, data import and we need to click the cloud to upload a file so I simple click on here click on desktop and from desktop i'm looking for a file and my file exists here my file exists uh, let me check my file my file is somewhere here in contact got it so i just click on this i can again f drive uh, i'll go to my desktop in my desktop that's my file which I'm using right now. So I just upload this file, and as you can see, uh, here we can see we, here we can preview the uploaded data which we are going to upload. So that's a perfect data here we have. Click on next step. In next step, the third step is for mapping because the fields which uh, the fields which we are got in Excel file and the fields which we have in Oracle Eloq in our marketing on Oracle marketing cloud and contact or contact entity, it might not be same. So we need to map the field. So uniquely match contacts on email address and uh, the fields are matched. Last name is map, country is map, country, mobile phone, email is not mapped. So I just double click on it and targeted value i just look for email address so i just map with email address title is mapped and department is mapped so all fields have been mapped successfully click on next step and whether where do we want to send the 
upload notification too so i would like my this notification the process notification on my mail id so i just mentioned my mail id Uh, place contacts in a shared contact list. I don't want to put it anywhere and click on finish. So the process is running on. The process will run in background. And now we wanted to see whether records have been uploaded or not. So in order to do that, I would like to check whether I have got a record with name as Kamal Sharma or not. So let's go and check. And I just look for a record named as Kamal Sharma. And as you can see, the record has been, the record exists in my database right now. So that's a, uh, this is how we can quickly upload the data into Oracle Eloxia using external files. So I got Kamal Sharma, Depart is, department is finance, title is manager, as you can see. Now let's look for author song, or let's say Ashley James. So I'll just look for uh, Ashley James, or I just look for James. James. Yeah. So we have got multiple James, and I'm looking for this one, Ashley James, Finance, VP Finance, and that's the contact number. So that's the way we quickly up uh, uploaded records, or we quickly insert records from external data sources into Oracle, and we can filter them out. Also, that from here we can filter them out. Or if you want to insert new record directly into Oracle Eloqua, we can, we have an option for new option. So we have certain other options, which we are going to talk about in upcoming videos. So that's a simple tip. That, that's the simple way how we can insert or upload the data into Oracle Eloqua using external files. So that's all in this video. If you have some queries, if you have some requirements on uh, Oracle Consulting related to Oracle Marketing or Oracle Sales Cloud. You can contact with us on www.bispsolutions.com. You can visit our website or you can directly write to us. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.